Hello and welcome to the Eduonics course NoSQL database design using CouchDB. In this video I just want to go over briefly uh, what this course entails and um, what you'll be doing. Basically we're going to cover uh, all kinds of topics that have to do with NoSQL databases. Alright so uh, a NoSQL database is basically a mechanism for storage and retrieval uh, where data is modeled, it's, it's modeled in means other than uh, a traditional relational database system or SQL system if you want to call it that. Um, and we will specifically be focusing on CouchDB which is one of many NoSQL databases. Now this particular course will include six chapters and each chapter will have three to eight sections. And each section has one video, program files, and if it's a slideshow uh, section, then you'll also get that document. So let's go over uh, prerequisites for this course, which uh, there aren't very many. It's not absolutely necessary that you know any programming language uh, or how to manage databases. However, it does help if you have any experience in um, basically any database management whether it's SQL or NoSQL, um, HTML and JavaScript because the the code that we'll be writing to utilize CouchDB will be in JavaScript and uh, of course HTML. Um, but as long as you have uh, just a basic knowledge of programming or uh, just technology, web technology in general then you should be alright. So here are some technology concepts that we'll be going over and that you'll learn in this course. All right, so we will talk a lot about NoSQL advantages and uh, relative to relational databases. Um, NoSQL is, is a fairly new technology uh, and relational databases have been around for 40 plus years. So we'll be looking at the two and uh, I, I can say right now that um, we're not saying in any way that NoSQL uh, should always be used instead of a relational database because that's just very wrong. Uh, different applications uh, have different necessities and relational databases uh, are here and will be here to stay. So uh, we'll definitely implement CouchDB and I'm going to do it both in Windows and Linux. Um, we'll be looking at curl a little bit uh, because CouchDB you can actually um, you can do things through HTTP requests and curl is a, a great way to do that. Futon management client okay so Futon is basically uh, a browser application that comes with CouchDB where you can create databases you can add fields you can update fields things like that configurations um, Iris Couch and PouchDB clients. All right, so Iris Couch is basically a service that gives you a CouchDB database. It's just not on your local machine, it's on their server. PouchDB is a client that we can use, uh, we can code JavaScript with the PouchDB API and then we can sync it to either a local or a remote CouchDB database. Couch App is a JavaScript, um, basically a framework to build JavaScript programs with CouchDB. And we'll be taking a look at that in depth. Um, and we'll, we'll create a full functional CRUD application. And when I say CRUD, I mean create, read, update, and delete. All right, we'll be creating a to-do list application that will be able to do those four things. And then finally, we'll bootstrap it up. We're going to use Twitter Bootstrap for a presentation uh, just to make it look good. So those are the basic uh, concepts that we'll be looking at this course. Uh, in a course overview, uh, we'll, have, we'll talk a lot about NoSQL, what it is, advantages, things like that. Uh, getting started with CouchDB, so we'll look at um, the service, the API, things like that, uh, installation. Then we'll talk about views and getting data. So we'll talk about how we can actually grab data and sort it and things like that. PouchDB, 
uh, we'll be building a sample application, which is the to-do list. Uh, and then we'll be building a couch app, which will be an address book. Um, and that'll take up two chapters. It'll be a, a fairly a decent sized application. All right, so those are the, that's basically a summary of what we'll be doing in this course. Um, I hope you like it and learn a lot, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.